In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to transfer videos, movies, TV shows, any video file really from your computer to your iPhone 5 or your iPad or your iTouch. Um, it can be confusing working with iTunes. And the other day, my mother came up to me and she said, Hey, how do I get some movies and TV shows onto my iPad? I want to bring my iPad somewhere and watch TV shows. So I, this one's for you. Um, what you need to do, I need you to grab your, your charging cord that charges your Apple product. It looks like this. Okay, I need you to grab that cord and I need you to connect your iPad or your iPhone to your computer. Okay, and you, you need iTunes installed for this. So if you don't have iTunes installed, I'll include the download link to download this program. It's free um, and it's required. So assuming that you've downloaded iTunes and you've installed it, uh, double click on this shortcut icon to start the program and once you plug your device into your computer you'll see your device listed here under devices um, and that's great that's what we want the next thing I need you to do is click on movies under library okay um, and I need you to then drag and drop your movie files into your library now you're going to run into a couple of situations here. You're either not going to have your files, and that's a whole other issue, and, and I'll address that later, um, or you'll have your movie file, <coughs> excuse me, on your computer, and you attempt to drag and drop it, but nothing happens. It sure looks like I can do it, but it's not working. Or you try and drag and drop, and you get a little um, circle with a line through it telling you that that file format is not valid. You can only transfer MP4 files to iTunes. So these files right here you can see type of file MP4 and that's the only type of file that we can transfer um, to our iPad using this method. So if your files are in the wrong format and you can't drag and drop them into iTunes easily, I'm going to recommend a program called Any Video Converter. Um, I'll include the download link for this program as well. It's free. It's great. Um, essentially, all you would do is install this program, run it, take your files that you can't drag and drop into iTunes, drag and drop them into this program, and then select MP4 from the drop-down menu on the right here. Um, select MP4, and then hit Convert Now. And I want to make a side note. If you can't find your files after you convert them, simply click on edit options set output folder this is where the files will end up so right now my files will end up uh, on the desktop movies for iPad 2 I can actually see that folder right here it's on my desktop now if I wanted to change that location really quickly I, I would just click on browse I would just make it easy for myself click on desktop and then just click on OK and that would just spit all the files on my desktop easy to find easy to work with click on OK to save those changes um, and so that's where your files would end up after you drag and drop them into this program and click on convert so assuming that you've done that and now you have your files uh, that are in mp4 format select them drag and drop into your iTunes movies library you'll see the progress bar up top working and your movies will show up now we're not done yet there's one more thing we need to do we need to select our device here under devices and we need to hit the sync button now when we hit the sync button that essentially copies everything from our iTunes library onto the iPhone or iPad that we're working with so until we hit the sync button they won't be on the device when we unplug it from our computer so I'm not going to hit the sync button because I have other things loaded on my iPad right now but in your case hit the sync button and everything will be copied over and you'll see a progress bar up here and when it's finished it'll say OK to disconnect and you can unplug your device from your computer that's essentially all you need to do now I just want to make a quick side note if you already had something on your device and you deleted it from your iTunes library it will also delete it from your device so just keep that in mind when you're deleting things but if you simply only add things and not delete things it will add um, those files 
to your device. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and you were able to follow along and add movies to your iPhone or iPad. So thanks for watching.